providing the, this is what we're doing, you know? And it's kind of great. But you can do your own thing, even if you're going, all you gotta do is take your own food. Be able to predict how you will react in any situation. And you've just created success. Now, if you don't try to think about that and you don't have a plan, fail to plan, and you have actually planned to fail, right? Or have a plan, have protection. Decide, have, look at what that's, you know what it's gonna be like, you go every year, okay? You know what it's gonna be like. Uncle Jed's gonna be at one end, you know, hand down the front of his pants, you know. Somebody gonna have their teeth out of town, I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to South Carolina. You know what it's gonna be, okay? And you can arrive as that. They're not gonna change. Don't hold your breath while you're waiting on the world to change. You'll keep waiting. Waiting on the world to change. That's giving your power away. Gaining your power back is you changing you. You have no control over anyone else. We have a hard enough time controlling ourselves. You're gonna visualize what that's gonna look like. You know where you're gonna sit. You sit there every year, right? Or maybe you're going somewhere different, but guess what's gonna be there? Toxic crap, that's what people eat, okay? That ain't your food. Don't assume anyone's gonna accommodate you. Assume they won't, and you can have a plan. So what's that gonna look like when you sit down at Easter and you, what is your plate gonna look like? How are you gonna feel? You're gonna breathe into the moment. You're not even gonna smell macaroni and cheese and okay, that can smell good. So does a candle, right? Nothing tastes better than feeling great feels. Nothing, nothing will taste better than the pride you have for sticking to the integrity and the promises you made to yourself as you push yourself away from that table. Nothing feels better than you realizing that you don't have to think, I guess that's how I'm gonna be. All these people are half dead. Oh no, no, I'm on the rise. I'm sorry you chose that, but I'm not choosing it. Look at what that's gonna look like. Show up at it, bring your food, do it. Get on with it. I would say how awesome it would be if you've been in this reset all these days and you've done nothing. You've done something because you showed up. You did something when you decided that you were worth the money and time to be in it. That was a thing. You never thought that before. it can still be the catalyst for you changing your life. It really can. So let's say you, you hadn't done anything. You go to that celebration and in your journal, you hadn't even started. And it's the first page. And at the top, you're gonna write Easter. And this year it represents the rising of you, of your health. If you're a religious person, I don't like that term. Um, rising. Think about that. The rising of you. And that's not to discount what people would say the holiday's about. It's to tie into that. Think about that. Also think about this. A lot of these situations that take us down, a lot can happen in three days. Sunday's coming. You know what I'm talking about? So let's say you're thinking about that, the rising of you. It's brand new, because guess what? The stone that's been holding you back has been rolled away. Guess what? The encapsulating tomb is empty. 
How about that? I can't wait to say that to my daughter today. The rise of spring, the blooming of the new you. The encaged tomb is empty. And behold, you have risen. You know, think about that. If, if you do see religious um, religion in that, and you think, well, now, now that's not about me. But isn't it really? Dying to the old things that hold you down. Dying to the lies. Rising of the truth. You know? And behold, you are new. All old has been washed away. And you've been given free will. And you've been given a chance in every moment to open up the door to the lower level you. Or open up the door to the rise of you. You know what I mean? Um, that's really a, a great analogy. You know? So anyway, um, <clears throat> that was a little church with Tanny. But you see what I mean? 